Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host Ali Hammer and in this series we will be hearing from 14 different AWS leaders, each one discussing a different leadership principle. Here to discuss the leadership principle we'll have backbone to disagree and commit, we're joined with Katrine Pagnia, our AWS mid-enterprise sales lead. So Katrine, thank you so much for being here today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about what the leadership principle, how backbone to disagree and commit means to you and also why it's so important here at AWS? Yeah. Hey, Ali, thanks a lot for um, hosting the chat. And first of all, I have backbone, disagree and commit is one of my favorite leadership principles. Um, my boss definitely enjoy, enjoys me having a lot of backbone, disagree, but we also know when to commit. Um, first of all, what does that leadership principle actually mean? It actually means we welcome people with diverse opinions. We welcome people with everybody in our team to actually give their personal opinion, uh, but also knowing when to commit. So what does that mean? We're not looking for social cohesion, but we want everybody in the team to come together as one and also trust that if we make a decision together, we collectively win together as well. Absolutely. And being able to stand by your ideas is such an invaluable skill to, to any business. So Katrine, can you share with us a moment where you actually had to disagree and commit to an idea while working at AWS? Because I imagine it can be quite awkward depending on the audience. Uh, one of my favorite ones is actually our interview process. So mm -hmm. um, as, a, as a bar raiser, I get to, or bar raiser in training, I get to see a lot of interviews. And a favorite one is that our loop process is very rigorous. So we have five different people who are each interviewing a candidate looking at different data points that the candidates provide, but nobody's allowed to see the feedback until we all submit the feedback um, in the tool. And once we've submitted the feedback, we all, depending of our relationships or depending of our role, it doesn't matter. We all get encouraged to challenge why is this candidate right for the business or why is the candidate not right for this business? The cool part about it is once we go into a final vote and we agree on that decision, we each commit and we cannot go back to challenge that decision. We all fully commit and we move forward as that candidate is or inclined or not inclined to join our business. So to me personally, it's been one of the most interesting hiring processes I've seen in any business. And it's just something that accelerates the decision, but also gets us to come together as one. What an amazing way to make an impact. And I know that in many companies, you know, employees can't necessarily challenge their seniors. So it really is fantastic that AWS has made it, you know, one of our key leadership principles and that we actually encourage it. So Katrine, can you explain to us why you think it's important for employees to challenge the decisions of people who, you know, are your seniors or might be considered to be your seniors? Yeah, I think an important thing to understand is in AWS, we hire leaders. So we actually expect everybody to be a leader. So we're looking for people who are comfortable to share their ideas, their viewpoints, um, not just look for consensus and agreement, but actually come up with the best ideas. Mm. Um, so the, the goal is genuine diversity, genuine diverse train of thought. So people actually gain confidence to share their opinions but also to give them room to experiment and to grow uh, in, in our business. So, Yeah, I really feel like it definitely takes backbone to disagree with someone like your boss. But if you know you're right, it's great that we are supported in, in challenging somebody. So Katrine, finally, can you share with us a few of the ways that AWS, not just yourself, supports this leadership principle within our teams? Yeah, I think one of my favorite ones or a, a mechanism, what we would call it, is the concept of one-way and two-way doors. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we say one-way or two-way doors, one-way doors are most impossible to reverse decisions. So it's, it's once you commit, it's that way. So for example, building a new data center, you cannot really remove the data center or quitting a job is maybe a more practical example. Um, but we in AWS believe that 99.9% .9 of decisions that anybody gets to make are actually two-way door decisions. So it's easy to reverse. If you don't like what you see, you just go back and you reverse or change your decision. So the goal of our business is how do we accelerate decision-making? How do we drive the most ownership to an individual? So everybody from people in my team to somebody on the other side of the planet working at AWS, 
will hear this uh, expression saying, is this a one-way or two-way door decision? If it's a two-way door decision, make it, take ownership of it, feel comfortable with it, um, but take it to the end, make sure that you feel comfortable with your decision, but also back yourself. So um, taking ownership to me is very much tied to making decisions in our business as well. Katrine, what a great example. And I just loved having you on the show today. And especially this um, leadership principle is probably something that I personally would have chosen if I was invited to talk on one. It's been such a joy having you on the show. And to all our viewers, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Thank Bye. You.